all and welcome to Wow Crochet. My name is Mary and today I'm coming to you with another vlog. I know, I know, we're very excited this week, aren't we? <gasps> breathe, Mary, breathe. Today we are extra excited, guys. Why are we excited? Because, <laughs> to my newbies, sorry, I'm not usually this excited. <laughs> Actually, yes, I am. <laughs> we finished, ta-da, the pillow. I don't know, it took us like a hundred years really. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it did take us a long time. And my apologies to my regulars for taking so long to finish it. This is the side that Melbourne is having today. It's a little bit somber. It's a little bit dreary and drab. It's dark outside. It's, I don't know if we're getting any light in here for this, <laughs> for this vlog, but that is what Melbourne is like today. But I hear tomorrow may be sunny and bright. <laughs> now, guys, for those of you who know me well, will know that I like to call this my mood pillow. So depending what mood you are in is the side you will have your pillow. So if you have um, your lounge room and it's a very quiet day and you just want to sit and curl up under a nice warm blanket because it's cold like today, and then you use the nice somber side. Oh, with the buttons this way. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you put it on the on your couch. If you find that it's gorgeously sunny outside and you want to have a party and invite all your psychedelic friends over, ta-da! Yeah, put it this side. Now, I thought, why not do a pillow that has both sides to it? This is your autumn, fall, winter side, and this is your spring, summer warm side so there you go guys if you are joining us new and you would like to do that pillow the links to the pillow will be in the description box down below and i will actually put links parts one two three four five six all the way up to i believe it was eight from memory yes <laughs> it took us eight parts to get the pillow completed but we did do it and i have to say i did choose a um hmm a rather complicated stitch for some of my uh, newbies. This stitch here is the corner to corner stitch, very basic. The newbies can do this stitch easy. I think the difficult part we had was um, making the buttonholes and the buttons and just getting them, you know, perfectly right on the edges there. Mine actually didn't add up, but if you look carefully at it, you really can't tell. I think there was two there and, oh no, I added it up. It worked perfect. I'm telling lies now. <laughs> fibbing, fibbing, fibbing. So there you go, guys. That was our pillow. Uh, we finished that two days ago. By the time this vlog goes up, it'll be two days ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm very pleased with it. I'm very happy. It's finished right flat bang in the middle of summer, even though it looks like winter out there today. <laughs> the other day, or was it yesterday, it was, we had hailstones that size, huge. And we are in the middle of summer. I don't know what's happening with Australia's weather. Don't even ask me because I don't know. Getting off the weather. <laughs> Guys, that's what we did with our pillow. That's all done. Oh, I'm wearing my top. Huh? Huh? You like? You like? You like? Yes. And I've added the buttons. which I didn't have the buttons on. Um, hmm, I think I have worn the top before. Not sure. No, I haven't. I just didn't have the buttons on when I showed you guys the top. But I thought I would, let's turn around to do a little turn. I know, really cute, huh? Really cute. And I hope you can see it. Oh, I'm going to fall over in a minute. I oh, know that'll hold me back. <laughs> so I hope you can see the whole top from there. I really do hope you can see it because it is gorgeous. I enjoy making it and the pattern is going to be um, a pattern for sale. And that will be on my website in a couple of weeks' time. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention, I'm getting a website. Oh, I might have mentioned it. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, I'm getting a website. Isn't this exciting? I know, right? <sighs> okay, so as you know, we've done our pillow. Um, over the past few weeks, I've been doing some rewriting, some old patterns that I had that I had made but never written up. So I've been doing that over the past few weeks. I've been very, very busy, very, very busy since I've been back from my trip. <laughs> and uh, that has actually kept me, mm, let's just say, I won't say grumpy. I won't say grumpy. All right, I'll say grumpy. <laughs> because, you know, yours truly, I don't, um, I don't do the technical side of things. Somebody else does that. 
Somebody else does the editing. Somebody else does that, but they don't. This past two years, I've had to do it all myself, and it's very trying. <laughs> so I can get a little grumpy when it comes to organising the um, other side of crochet, and that is writing up patterns, and that is editing all these uh, videos and the tutorials that you see. I don't like those things. Shh, don't tell anybody. But I don't like them. I don't like having to fuss with lighting. I don't like having to wait for the sun to come out <laughs> because my lighting isn't that crash hot. Um, I don't like having to do all the nitty gritty, but guys, that's part of it all, isn't it? I know, right? This is starting to sound very negative, isn't it? It's long. Sorry, guys. Let's get back to positive. So the past couple of weeks, <laughs> this is what I've been trying to say. Um, I have been writing up my patterns. They're not ready to go up yet, so bear with me another couple of weeks. They will go up probably in the month of February. Um, they will go up on a website when I finally get the website done. And you will get the freebie ones on the website and you'll also get patterns that you can buy from me on the website. And one of them that you have to purchase will be this one here. It's not a freebie. Sorry, guys. That's not a freebie. This will be a freebie. Ta-da! <laughs> guys, we have had a lot of fun making the pillow and as promised, I said that once the pillow is complete, we will be doing the honey cow. <laughs> if you are joining us new and you're not sure what the honey cow is, the honey cow is a cow that I've been uh, already put on for, might be five, I can't remember now, tutorials on practicing the stitches for the honey cow. Now these practice stitches, once we get them all you know, practiced <laughs> and perfect. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and do the honey cow. That's happening this week. Yay! <laughs> the honey cow will be out this week at some stage. Don't quote me on dates because every time I say a date, someone comes over, I end up with visitors and I don't get it done that day. So I'm not going to give you any dates. <laughs> we are actually in the middle of um, holiday season here in Melbourne. Quite a few people are still on holidays and of course they come visiting and that's fine i don't mind the odd visit and i don't mind visiting and in actual fact tomorrow i will be heading off to visit a couple of ladies who are also crocheters and we are going to be having lunch together with our crochet so it'll be like a crochet event really if you will so the honey cow is coming the honey cow okay quite a few months back i also showed you a nice thick frizzy kind of fluffy wool kind of fluffy wool and it was blue and it was a really dark dark blue and I tried recording with it the other day and it wasn't visible on uh, well it was you could see it but you couldn't see the stitches um, so I didn't want to uh, use that yarn for the YouTube tutorial however uh, I do have yarn in my stash that I can use for the tutorial. That will be happening uh, this week and it won't be the same yarn that I advertise. I haven't actually <laughs> picked the yarn out, but as you can see, there are stacks in here and there's quite a few on the other side of the house. So there you go. Um, <laughs> sorry, guy. I, look, I will refrain from being. You know what? I'm, I'm laughing because all I can think of is we have the pillow finished. Now that pillow, for those of you who know, I think we started October last year. I think, October, November, December. Oh, three months! <laughs> it doesn't take that long usually, guys. By the way, I'm jumping from one thing to another. We are going to be doing another pillow this year, but it won't be as technical as this one here. It will be a basic stitch from side to side or up and down or um, like a really big granny square or maybe a big granny circle with a blocked I'm starting to make it difficult already. But <laughs> we are going to be doing another pillow this year, but it will not be as difficult as that one. And there will not be as many tutorials as that one. So that one was a little bit technical and I tried to keep it as simple as possible. But there you go. <laughs> now, um, what else have I been doing? Oh gosh, there's so much. This particular vest that I'm doing, as I'm writing up the pattern now, I've restarted it and I'm doing it in the right size. The actual squares that I have here, that these pieces were crocheted in a size 4.5 millimeter hook and a four ply yarn, cotton that is. Now the four ply, if I can get nice and close for you, is really quite thin. Look how thin that is. 
Mm. It's not a thick yarn. So the 4.5 kind of made everything mm, a bit loose for me. So I'm redoing the pattern. Yes, I am, guys. <laughs> redoing the pattern again in the size 4mm hook. And I will be writing it up as I redo it. That way I've got pictures of each one. And so I'll be adding pictures in with the pattern as well. So there you go. That's that. That's the pillow. And for those of you who remember last year, um, because we're all in a new year, we did a granny square blanket. Ta -da! <laughs> remember this, guys, where we, we crocheted our squares and then we crocheted them. Oh, I've got the right side here. Then we crocheted them together. We didn't sew them together. For those of you joining us new and would like to see this blanket on YouTube, head down to the description box down below and you will see the words uh, Granny Square Blanket and you can um, run along and, and do this blanket until we're ready to introduce the next blanket. Yay! <laughs> the next blanket, you're thinking, what? You already thought about it? Yes, I have. Now, um, I've decided this year, I've been seeing them a lot lately and I thought, they're very customary. Um, when we're doing a granny square such as that, if we just kept going with one big granny square blanket, I thought I would like to do that, but I don't want to use all one color. What I would like to do is do one color, say, I don't know if you can see through the thing there, in a light color, then the next color in a purple, next color white, next color purple, next color white, next color purple, or whatever colour you decide to use, right? So what we'll do is, over the next few weeks, I'll be introducing that blanket. Uh, it will be either a purple, a green, or a yellow. It doesn't matter. Whatever colour you want to do, you will always have a white and then a yellow, white, yellow, white, yellow, or white, red, white, red, white, red, or white, green, white, green. I haven't decided what colour I'm going to use yet. I do have a lot of blue and pink in stock. I'm thinking I would love to get rid of that. It's a Lincraft yarn, which I bought a long time ago, and I it's a baby yarn from Lincraft. And I want to get rid of it. <laughs> I want to throw it out or anything. I want to use it. So um, I'm thinking that we might do that over the next few weeks, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Before we start that, however, we are going to do our honey cow. If you want to practice those stitches before I upload the first tutorial in a couple of days' time, Check this description box down below where you see the word honey cow. That is where you click on that link there and it'll take you to the practice stitches. When I'm ready to upload that first tutorial, you would have already had your practice in, so it should be a lot quicker and easier for you. And what else can I tell you about the honey cow? Okay, now, the honey cow was inspired, and a lot of you out there know this, a lot of my newbies do not know this, I uh, was inspired by my late departed um, dog honey she was a King Charles Cavalier she was a beautiful stunning looking dog and at the end of the honey cow once we have finished I will pop up a couple of photos with myself and whoever else I've got photos of um, with the dog I will pop them up at the end of the honey cow tutorial the very last bit so um, it's in honor of her when uh, when she passed away the week or two weeks that she passed away I'd actually been given a gift of um, some yarn through um, a store that I visit and it was just one of those things it just happened that day that I was given a prize and once I got that I just looked at it and thought that's it I'm going to make a cow in honor of my King Charles Cavalier so there you go that is my history with the honey cow why I'm making it uh, and that's it that's pretty much it the other thing I wanted to talk about today was two weeks time the very first Monday in February will be our very first start. I couldn't get it out. Hello. She's not awake today, guys. She's sleeping, having a bit of a snooze in the background. The very first Monday of the month will be February the 3rd. And the very first Friday of the month is February the 7th. That is our very first week of our new year. I know, right? Very exciting. And the third is a Monday, and it's the first Monday of February, and it's going to be called Mary's Merry Monday. I know, I know, I know, I know, very exciting. And the word Merry, you know what that means. It means happy. So I'm going to leave that 
for you to think about um, until we get to that date. The Friday, however, is History Friday or Friday Fever. Friday Fever can be something that, um, I'm not going to talk about it. We're just going to wait until History Friday comes because I wanted to surprise you guys. I really do. Now, what have I been working on outside of YouTube? Um, recently, I put an order into a place called We Are Knitters. Um, and I thought, I'm sorry, We Are Knitters Australia. And I thought it was an Australian company. We Are Knitters.com.au. The word, the letters, AU at the end, <laughs> kind of came out to me as being an Australian website. So I went ahead and ordered some cotton from there. I'm doing a commission job for a lady. And um, let's call her Jean. <laughs> And uh, the yarn that she wanted was a cotton, a thick cotton thread. It wasn't very thick, not really. It's uh, it's called We Are Knitters. And in fact, whoops, whoops. These are the two colours. Are they not gorgeous? I know, right? They are gorgeous. These are the two colours. Now, when I look at this um, skein, it says weareknitters.com. When I ordered the yarn, it said weareknitters.com.au. So I don't know what happened there, but this thread here came from Germany. Not that that's a problem. <laughs> it's just that I thought I was ordering the yarn from Australia and the yarn should have come in within two days. And instead it came in within five days and kind of left me waiting. So there you go. Now, th that happens. You know, sometimes that happens. So um, when you're out there and you're making for someone else, always say if you don't have the yarn in stock, always say you may have to get the yarn in you're not sure it's between two and six days that gives you time for international to send you yarn when that store said to me that they were from australia and they weren't not that that's a problem again <laughs> i order from overseas all the time so it's not an issue but it's only an issue if you are ordering for a commission project now forget that that's the negative side of things Let's get on with what I'm creating for the lovely Jean. Now, um, I can't actually create this on YouTube because it's um, a pattern that she got from a magazine. Now, she only got the actual pattern bit, so I don't know which magazine it was from. So instead, oh, I've already taken a thread undone. Give me one second. I don't want to pull it undone. Okay, I knew it did. Okay, and there it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And that's the yarn you saw a second ago. All right, and look how gorgeous it works up. I know, right? I know, I know. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a little bag like that. Now, in the picture, the bag looks this big. <laughs> so I actually first started off, and believe it or not, I have made it half twice. I say half twice. That was the first one. Now that was made in a size five millimeter hook, the one that they had chosen in the pattern. And it didn't look big enough to me, so I did it in a six millimeter hook and lo and behold, that still does not look big enough. Now assuming she wants to put like her purse in there or a phone. So I'm going to have to do a small video, which I do sometimes for my, my um, commissioned customers. Um, a small video and I'm going to send it to her saying this is the size I'm going to pop in my purse and my phone and a few other little things and say well that's the size and if you have a look inside there's one thread left that I have to weave in see I actually when making something like this um, it's very technical and I don't um, I'll show you what I mean see the inside I don't crochet the beige and then crochet over the brown and then crochet over the beige and then pick it up there no I cut I cut and I weave in an end and then I do another one and I cut and I weave in an end so forever cutting and weaving in ends here so that's it I'm making that for Jean I think it's gorgeous but sorry guys I cannot make it for us on YouTube because as I said before it is a pattern that came from a magazine however I will not say that I won't make something similar. <laughs> I won't make it like this because this is a very technical pattern. Um, but I may make something similar in the form of a bag in the near future. Now, you guys already know that I made a bag last year, which I don't have with me right now. But yours truly, once again, did not put the lining in. <laughs> so after the honey cow, I will be finishing off that bag 
placing the lining in and we are going to be sewing that in with the sewing machine. Uh, this time last year, I also mentioned that we were going to do a tissue box cover, which I had here somewhere. We will be doing that tissue box cover. Okay, we will be doing it and we're doing it this year definitely. So what we didn't do last year was the lining to the bag. The bag's already made. Um, and also we'll be making a tissue box cover and uh, what was the other thing? Ah, fingerless gloves. These were the three items that we did not make last year, which I said we would make at the beginning of the year. So, what can I say guys? That's that, that's that, that's that. Oh, um, and, 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 last week I showed you um, in my last vlog that I bought some of this yarn here. Well, I've already started making something. Oh, is it not gorgeous? And it's going to be a little poncho. <laughs> it is a basic poncho. Um, it is a summer poncho. It will be worn either um, over a t-shirt in summer or it can actually be worn over a long sleeve shirt in autumn, fall <laughs> and winter. So yeah, it can be worn anytime. That's the joy of working with cotton. Uh, yes, we will be doing a poncho <laughs> on uh, our channel here at Wow Crochet. Yes, we will be doing a granny square blanket, a nice big one with a different border, just for fun. Yes, we will be doing another pillow. Yes, we will be making some kind of bag, but not this one here. This one, by the way, is gonna have a handle as well. And this week we are focusing on the honey cow. It is coming, guys, get ready. We want it finished in two weeks. None of this six months thing. <laughs> we want it finished in two weeks because in two weeks time, we have our new year. Yay! It starts in February, the new year. So we have two weeks to finish off the honey cow, to start the honey cow and finish it, and to finish off our bag, which I will show you next week on next week's vlog. And um, when I'm not doing Mary's Merry Monday or the second Tuesday of the month or the third Wednesday of the month, when I'm not doing any of those things, in between there will be tutorials, okay? So you're not missing out on anything. I will always pop up tutorials um, and I'll always try and get at least two or three tutorials up a week, okay? If I don't, yell at me. <laughs> oh, don't. I'll cry. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so I'll try very hard to get two or three tutorials up a week so um, you always have something to do. With my tutorials, I try to do... Uh, different things like sometimes I'll do a blanket or I'll do a pillow or I'll do a cowl or I'll do a vest but not this kind <laughs> um, <laughs> or a poncho um, and because I want to cater for everyone um, let's say someone like you Jean doesn't like dresses doesn't like tops but loves bags okay so if I make a bag Jean's happy okay when I'm making a blanket like this Mary's happy. <laughs> when I'm making a pillow like this, Mary's happy again. But, you know, there's someone out there who wants pillows. So I try to make it different. I try to put different things all the time. Last year I worked on a scarf, the man scarf for men. I worked on the double crochet V-stitch cravat. I worked on um, uh, the crocheting in the third loop cowl. Um, so I worked on quite a few things last year that are different. I worked on mandala. I worked on your crochet bag, which I will show you next week because we're going to organise the lining for that. Um, so last year I worked on so many different variety of things so that if one person wasn't happy, the next person might be, and then maybe I'll make that person happy the next time. So I try my best to give you an array of items. If by any chance there's something that you haven't seen on our channel and you would like to see on our channel, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. If I don't know, I won't make. So there you go. I don't know what else to say, guys. I think I've been talking far too much, mm -hmm. right? So this week, get ready for the honey cow. Get ready for uh, finishing it off next week or the week after, hopefully, just before February. And hopefully our weather picks up here in Melbourne <laughs> and we get some more light in here. Um, in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me here at Well Crochet. Thank you for completing the pillow with me. <laughs> I loved it very much. It is something I, um, I'm sure I mentioned it in my previous tutorials, 
that making the mood pillow is one of my favorite things to make and I said in the tutorial that I've only made four I think but I've made eight of these I've given some away oh, can you believe it um, and I just keep making I do it's one of those things um, I love the mood pillow I love making something that will make I love making things that are different so what I usually say this is when grandma comes over and this is when your psychedelic friends come over grandma psychedelic friends psychedelic friends grandma etc 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 so thank you so much for joining me with the pillow thank you guys for uh, listening to everything I have to say and thank you so much guys for joining me when we do our tutorials without you I couldn't do it and guess what guys we are this close to reaching 4,000 subscribers I bet by the time this vlog goes up we will have 4,000 subscribers and if that's the case you know what that means it means <gasps> giveaway time yay thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me and guess what guys ciao for now <laughs>